How's it going? Man, I've been a busy, busy bee. Okay, so, um, yeah, look, yummies. Lots of beads and stuff. So, I have been listing all morning, and, um, yeah, and I even, I even started a promotion in my shop, so I put my whole shop 15% off, so that's my first thing. Um, there's some journals in there that some of them have been in there for quite a while, and, um, <laughs> it's just funny, like, I don't, I don't really get the Etsy promotion thing, and, and I think, I think it's confusing, but anyways, so yeah, um, the, I, my whole shop is 15% off right now, and I'm doing that through Wednesday, so if you had looked at anything in there that, you know, maybe you wanted it or whatever, but didn't want to pay what I was asking for it, uh, it's on sale right now, so just go check it out, and that includes the digital stuff too. So anyway, yeah, okay, guys, remember those, um, remember those envelopes that I was working on? I did some videos, um, using that French, like, ephemera and stuff, the letters and da, 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 da. Um, so I sort of modified the way I, the way I did those, uh, the flaps on these envelopes instead of doing, you know, like another piece of paper that folded out or whatever. I just wound up kind of attaching some tags onto them. And, um, these were like from the, the big like boards or, you know, cardstock that I had collaged on. And, um, yeah, so I just cut them into just all different shapes and sizes and stuff and just use those as like flaps on these. So, so then I was pretty excited about that. So then I thought, okay, I'm going to make little journals that will fit in these, in these envelopes, you know? So that was my plan. But then I kept adding like stuff to them and then they got, they got that, like they were too thick. So I couldn't, I couldn't put the journal inside the, inside the, I don't know what this is. I think it's a folio type of thing, right? So anyway, I couldn't fit the journal inside of it, so um, it's just going to be kind of separate, but it, so I'm, I have these as sets, and there's five different sizes um, because they were based on the size of the envelopes, and <clears throat> so I made the journals uh, like a half an inch to three quarters of an inch smaller all the way around than, than the dimensions of the envelope, so... Yeah, so that, that's, that, <laughs> it, they would fit if I didn't put anything else in there, you know what I mean? But I can't do that. I had to put some tags and stuff in there too, so. Anyway, so they're all a little bit different um, as far as the items that, that I stuffed in there, you know. So I wanted to give you, I wanted to give you lots of, you know, different, little things that you could create on and just you know the the little journals are basically like naked journals um the little folios the idea with those was that i thought okay it would be really nice to have something that was kind of pretty and 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 vintagey and maybe even shabby um, that you could use to record like some kind of special e event or like a vacation or, you know, something that, um, you know, that you also want it to be like self-contained so you could put other ephemera in there and just have it, you know, be something pretty that you could, you could tuck into another journal or something like that. You know, I thought this would be great to record uh, memories like from a wedding or an anniversary or something like that or even a birthday or whatever or just you know um, a revelation or you know um, 
goals for, you know, the next year or whatever. Anyway, so that's how these wound up. And I love this uh, marbled paper that, that I have. Um, so I've just been, you know, kind of using it a lot. Anyway, so I did a little library pocket on the inside of most of these. The little tiny ones don't have a library pocket in them because they were, they're too small, but um, they do have a, a pocket in them and I'll show you. So anyway, yeah, so you're just going to get like some tags that are ones that I, I made and, you know, you could, you could use this as a pocket in the journal if you wanted to glue that in or whatever. A couple of little tags, some little, little tiny tags, uh, library card, some other images that I, you know, did some stitching on, some of the ephemera cards that I made. I didn't really do any stitching on these. I just didn't really think they needed it. Um, and then just some um, some other papers. Like this is paper that came out of a scrapbook, like an old scrapbook. I just thought it was really pretty and I like the texture of it. And then this is like a little, you know, ledger page. This is the last of the paper from those, that bank ephemera that I picked up. Um, the divider pages from the books that, that that stuff came in. That's the rest of that. So then a sheet of onion skin paper. I just folded it up. And then another, this is like a large piece of that um, red margined, uh, it's cotton, just um, legal size, whatever you want to call it, paper. <laughs> it's like a cotton, 25% cotton paper. So... Yeah, so these are just really cool. I don't know. I thought they were I thought they were pretty fun. And then um you know, of course you could you could glue, you know, other types of papers and stuff around on all the flaps if you wanted to or you know, you could even make pockets and stuff like that. So, or just sort of like a um jumping off point, right? Um except for the the outside of these. I I sort of went, I went a little crazy, um, did, just made them super grungy with lots of ink and things like that. And then um, I added a little bit of tape, like that uh, book repair tape on some of them. And then I did um, a string closure on most of them. Some of them, some of them have a different type of closure, I think. But anyway, and then... I don't know if, so these little fabric flowers, um, I was inspired to make these by Carla Frizzell. She did a video, I don't even remember how long ago it was, but quite a while ago. And when she did those, she was using like quilting, quilt fabric, you know, like vintage quilt top fabric and making these like twisted fabric flowers. And in her video, she says, you know, lots of other people make them and stuff. And so it wasn't like it was her original idea, but she's the one that made them that I saw. And I thought, oh my God, those are so cool. I have lots of fabric. I could make some of those, but I never did. But I needed something to embellish these envelopes. And so I, I, uh, I was chatting with her and it just dawned on me all of a sudden, make those little flowers, you know. So I made a whole bunch of those little twisted fabric flowers. You can see it's like, you know. And then um, I just used like avocado dyed paper and stuff or avocado dyed fabric. And some of them are made with um, cheesecloth and stuff like that. Anyway, and then I just did a little rusted paper clip with some type of, um, you know, blingy type of charms like I, I used a lot of the crystals that I've had from my grandmother's chandelier um and then also some some other ones that I've picked up but and then just like some little vintage buttons things like that so just made them kind of pretty and kind of shabby chic I guess <laughs> I'm not sure <clears throat> not sure if that's what it is um but yeah, I just think they're really cute little sets. And then, so, oh, and I didn't show you the journals. So the journals, 
they're all pretty much the same on the inside except for they're just different sizes so these are very simple little little junk journals okay um there's a pocket on the inside front and back cover the tags are kind of halfway done like not completely finished like i didn't do any kind of topper on them at all um because i really wanted these journals to be basically blank like naked journals and <clears throat> you know anyway but i also wanted to share some of the some of the tags that i had that i had made um so this size has a most of them have an envelope in the center and then i just tucked other stuff in there i cut up about five or six pages from this one french ledger that i have that i just love the paper it's just that really pretty blue and red um another piece of that stuff some more of this paper and then like a guest check and then you know i like to make a little pocket on the front of the envelope there so so you get a little some other little goodies in there um some of the little french vocabulary cards and some other little tags that i made out of scrap of paper and then some images that's mrs cog's image right there anyway so yeah so these are the little journals they just have a very simple little um most of them have like a string closure like this i didn't bother to put anything on here um because i thought you know if you want to add like a charm on the end of that string or something but i added just one little one here with an eyelet okay so that's the journal and oh and these are made on uh, real heavy cardstock craft cardstock and then that um obviously the marbled paper on the outside so so they're in sets of an envelope and a journal in my shop what happened to that rubber band i can't find it um and let me just show you the other sizes so it's funny like i don't know why i was trying to make some i had there's three different colors of that marbled paper that i have one of them is like black with like teal and you know gold and stuff and then there's one that's red and then the green and so i was trying to make some of each size in some of each color but it didn't really work out that way for some reason um so most of the little tiny ones are red and then the bigger ones are like the the black or the green so there is one large red one but anyway um so this is the large size that this one over here is a medium um and so yeah see they're just basically the same it's just the papers are a little bigger um the large ones i did not put an envelope in the center of the of the, the journal so i added a couple of pockets just a couple extra pockets in these okay and then you know a couple of tags too that that are collaged and stuff okay so that's that's the large size and i did i listed every one of these except for the little tiny ones individually so it was literally it was like 25 listings um the little guys i did as one listing but you can choose which one you want out of i did the um i don't know why i don't do this more often i really i probably should but um, and it's because Carla did it in one of her listings for her, um, her tassels, like chunky bead charm tassels. And she did it and I was like, Hey, that, you know what? That's probably a good idea. Anyway. So I did that on the little guys. But, um, so when you, if you go to look at the small ones in, in my shop, um, there's, there'll be a little drop down and then you can pick which number you want. And then there's a picture of each one in the in the listing with a little number anyway so but you can see pretty well in in the pictures the uh i tried to do like a close-up of the you know this part of the envelope and then just a little bit of you know what's what's inside like what it looks like they're not extremely detailed but you know like i said i knew i was going to be making a video and 
so I knew I could just kind of explain this, but there's lots of, lots of little goodies in here. I used up a bunch of my repair tags and stuff that I never use them for some reason. I bought them and I just, I don't really use them. So anyway, so I just put them in journals. Um, yeah. And then of course, you know, some really nice mother of pearl, um, shanked buttons on these. <clears throat> Most of them have most of them have two buttons. I think the smaller ones have one, but yeah. And then this is a little crystal from my grandma's chandelier right there. Another little vintage button. Some of this lace is lace that I got from Carla and Happy Mail. And that was kind of what inspired me. Carla just really inspired me for some reason in this, uh, this whole project. So yeah, so that's one of the large ones. And like I said, this does fit inside this um, little folio if you take all that other stuff out. So, you know, that, that's, that's an option also. Um, okay. So this is a large one. This is a medium. Let me show you. There's small and tiny. Okay. So this is a small one and here's, here's the envelope and they're, you know, they're pretty full. Like there's a lot of good stuff in these. Um, some of these smaller ones, I did put one of my notebook tags in there from some of my little mini notebooks. And, um, so this is the original page out of one of those old, old notebooks. Um, this is not a copy or a digital, um, some vintage ledger paper and, um, and then some newer stuff. So there's some old stuff and some new stuff, you know, and then a couple tags in the pocket. I put the library pocket sideways in these so that they would, so I'd be able to get a tag in there. So, okay. And then, um, yeah, I was going to do magnetic closures on these, but I thought, no, because if they, if they do wind up getting a little chunky, um, you know, I wanted the magnet to still work. And, and they might not if it gets too chunky. So, um, so yeah, so this is the little journal and see, these just have a little tiny envelope in the center and I filled it with basically the same kind of stuff that's, that I showed you already. So, okay. So that is the, the, the small size. And then there's an even smaller one that is tiny. There's actually two sizes of medium, um, but I call, I just call them all medium. One of them is a little narrower than, than the other. Um, but it says in the listing, the measurements of the journal and the envelope. So you can tell which one is, is which, um, yeah. So then, so then this is the tiny one. Okay. So see, it's considerably smaller. Um, and these are probably my favorite. I don't know. I just think they're super cute. Um, so these just have a tie, like, um, Baker's twine closure and the little envelope in the center and, um, pocket on the back and front. Um, then, yeah. And then the little flower and stuff on the on the folio envelope or whatever we're calling it. What the heck there. Um, again, a little vintage button on there. Some, some little charms with a rusted paper clip. Most of the charms are, um, are on some kind of chain. So they sort of, they move around kind of nicely. And, um, yeah. So see, they're really, they're really packed with, lots of good stuff. So <clears throat> yeah, and this is the pocket. See, there's not, I couldn't really get a library card or a library pocket in there. So, all right. Sometimes it, it's so awkward talking on, it, it's just weird. I don't know. I'm fine though. <laughs> I feel like if I haven't done a video for a couple days, like I, I just get totally 
thrown off kilter. It's really weird. Um, so let me stick these in here. And then I want to show you guys the all these charms I've been doing. <clears throat> I just, sometimes I just get on this kick of wanting to work with beads and pliers and wire and that kind of stuff. And, and if you follow Carla Frizzell, she did a video recently where she made a bunch of like charm, um, dangles, like chunky, I forget what she called them, like chunky, junky, you know, charms for journals. And it was really funny because I didn't know she was making them. And we just happened to both be making this kind of stuff all at the same time. So, and, and just, you know, inspired from, I was mostly inspired by my materials and a shopping trip. But, um, so I did a whole bunch of these. These are, um, these are not the chandelier ones. These I made before I started working on the chandeliers. Um, so these are basically just on a jump ring. And the idea was that I wanted to repurpose a bunch of different types of chain that I have in my stash that I've kind of reclaimed from, you know, junk jewelry and stuff. So there's five different types of chain and then they're each on a jump ring on a large jump ring. And then I just put some kind of, you know, charm at the end of the, of the chain and I picked up these little guys are so cute. These little picture frames. And I actually printed off a bunch of my old family pictures and, um, and put them in these little frames. So you might need your glasses to see it, but, um, but yeah. And then wire wrapped a whole bunch of beads and there's another crystal from the chandelier and, um, yeah, like, well, this, this little faceted bead is, is actually plastic, but you know, it's still pretty. So I don't really like to use plastic beads that much, but sometimes I do. I mean, I will like that one. I like the, the size of it, you know? So anyway, yeah. So there's a bunch of these and there's good pictures of each one. I listed them all individually so you can see what you're getting. Um, and I did put them on a book in the listing. Um, so you see what it looks like on a book. All right. So, yeah, so these were really fun and I'll probably, you know, depending on how they sell, um, I will probably make some more of them. If anybody would like a video, you know, just kind of showing you how I went about making these, I can do that. I'm going to do the chandelier one too. I just, I've had a lot on my plate at the moment. I've got some shipping stuff that I need to get done. And, um, yeah, so it's real. it's hard. It's like, I know like videos that I want to make, but sometimes it's hard to actually get it together to do it because I'm working on something else. And then I'd have to put all that away and then pull stuff out. And so I kind of have to wait until I'm actually going to be doing that to make the video sometimes, you know, like I did the sewing video the other day and, um, uh, because I was using my sewing machine and it was, and it was right here. So Anyway, um, blah, 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 blah. So these are, <laughs> these are made with the chandelier pieces. This one is not, this one's just like a big chunky charm that is made on a, on like a, a heavier chain. So this one is the only one that's like that. It's, this is kind of like some of the other ones that I've made. Um, yeah, so that. And that one is number, so they're all, I, I numbered them JJJ for junk journal jewelry, <laughs> um, because that's kind of what I'm calling them, book jewelry. So here's one that's done on the chandelier piece. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this piece right here. Um, it's for like chandelier earrings. Okay. So I just made little charms out of those. And, you know, using chain and lots of jump rings and, you know, I just, I don't know. I love doing that. It's just really fun. And then wire wrapping beads and stuff and with head pins and what have you. So, 
Yeah, and some of these are like really old vintage beads too. Um, <clears throat> some are not, some are. You know, like these are new charms. This is little lotus blossom and a uh, little heart. But that's a vintage bead right there. And a little dragonfly. Yeah, so these are really fun. And I made a ton of them. There's one that's pretty big. All right, where is it? <laughs> Here it is. This one. So this is made on a like a filigree chandelier type piece that I actually painted this on live stream one one time a long time ago. And um and then there's got there's another little chandelier piece on the top that I have has some little bells. Um so remember when I was taking apart that jewelry that one night like last week sometime and I had those pieces that had all the little like bells on the bottom. These, that's where those came from. And, um, yeah, so just all kinds of, kinds of good stuff. This one is a little bit, you know, bigger. It was more involved. Like I used some little connector charms on these so that, you know, it just, it, it's just more time consuming when, you know, you're doing stuff like that. But yeah, so you can see in the, in the photos, um, in my Etsy shop pretty well, like, um, I actually did some, some really good, uh, close-ups of, of some of these. So I have a whole bunch of other chandelier pieces. Oh, this one is one of my favorites right here. Let me show this one to you guys. This one is made with a bead cap. It's like an oversized kind of bead cap. And then I just made like a tassel. Okay. So all of the chain is strung into a big jump ring inside there and then you know wrapped in through that bead so, so this one has a bunch of stuff on it and um yeah this one's probably one of my favorites so i don't know i just like it it's almost like a bell it kind of looks like it's a bell but it's not anyway so i have a whole bunch of other um chandelier pieces that i got and so I am going to do some, some tutorial type videos or craft with me videos, um, using those and, and maybe making some other types of charms and stuff. Um, I did do a whole bunch of paper clips and I was going to do these like as a set. So you were going to get, but I decided I don't want to do that I don't, because I just, I don't know, the paper clips didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted them to. They have to be a certain, like, they have to be flat for me. And that's just the way I look at it. Um, so anyways, we're not doing the paper clips yet, but if I wind up doing some more of these, then I probably will do them as sets with paper clips. So anyway. Yeah, so look, really busy. Look at all those beads and stuff. Isn't that cool? I love that. <laughs> Just piled up like that. Um, yeah, so these are all listed in my shop. These are all individually listed. The journals are, for the most part, individually listed. And they're all active right now, except for the tiny ones and the small ones. Those are all in one listing. Um, there's a tiny listing and then a small listing. So, and then there's five in each one. I think one of them sold already, but, um, but yeah. And then if you're waiting on a kit from me, from the, uh, French ephemera kit that I had offered on PayPal through PayPal, um, those are shipping tomorrow. Um, it's too late for me to get them done and to the post office today. So I'll print the labels and stuff tonight and then, uh, I'll get them shipped out tomorrow. Okay, guys. All right. Well, let me know what you guys think and, um, give me a thumbs up if you like what you see or whatever, you know, if you haven't subscribed, that would be awesome. And I will try to bring you guys some of the videos that I, that I have committed to very soon. So anyway, I love you guys. And all my Etsy information is going to be in the description. Um, 
below this video. All right. Love you guys. Bye for now.